Hello my friends, this is Amner Hunter from AmnerHunter.com. Happy to spend some time with you on this video. This time around, I want to check out 5FX One Knob plugins by the company Lander. In this video, I want to show you how to mix with these 5 plugins. Very simple to use. Also, you can mix in minutes using this simple One Knob plugins, right? In this bundle, you have the plugin for acoustic guitars, electric guitars, bass, beats and drums and vocals in this video i am gonna show you how i use them also i want to go through the features and of course mix a song in front of you using only these plugins with before and after tests these plugins have a seven day free trial here at the website full featured i am gonna leave you down below all of the applicable links related to the content of this video and of course i am gonna leave you some timestamps in the video description and first comment for you to move around between the mini segments off of this video now full disclosure lander paid me to do this video but all of the opinions and uh, judgment by the plugins are mine i suggest you to go ahead and try them for yourself with the free trial so you can go ahead and make your own judgment of them before we dive deep into the content my friends i would like to invite you to my website amnerhunter.com where i have some freebies for you you can get some free pdf guides and ebooks for music producers such as the guide on how to make more music in 30 to 60 minutes a day. Also, the 8-step mixing checklist using only free plugins. Also, I have some tools such as a huge collection of guitar impulses, a drum sample pack for rock and metal sound, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. So now, let's get straight into the video. I have here this mix with drums, bass, a couple of acoustic guitars, electric guitars, one synth sound, and a lead vocals, right? All of the individual parts of the drum kit are being sent to this drum bus, and so on and so forth with the other instruments. So I'm gonna use the Lander plugins on each one of the buses, like you see here. I'm gonna play you quickly this mix, this track that I have here. This is before effects, right? I am not adding anything. All of the effects are turned off let's listen to it By the way, I spent a little bit of time here on the levels, right? And also on the panning. You need to make sure to spend some time with the levels and panning. You need to make sure that the mix sounds awesome already only with that, right? So we are going to enhance all of the instruments with these effects very, very quickly, very simple. I'm going to show you quickly here. Let's start here with the drum bus. So I have here the Lander FX Beats. Works great on electronic percussions, also on acoustic. Like I mentioned, it's very simple. It just has one knob, which is like the mix, the blend knob in most plugins these days this knob will tell the plugin the amount of effect that it's gonna be added to the signal you have uh, presets to choose from a lot of them very very creative ones for instance for drum kit you have here tight and punchy vintage smooth room things like that and you can choose also on the individual parts of the drum kit for kick several presets uh, depending on the sound that you are looking for snare symbols eq also you can make the things brighter make them darker right you can add more presence to things with this and also effects very cool reverb ambiences delays things like that also make sure that when you are adding the effect with the mix knob you level match the input and output because the amount that you add can increase the volume so to make a wise decision, you need to level match. So I decreased a little bit the volume here on the output on the plugin. Let's start here with the drum kit. I'm going to solo it. I'm going to go through some of the presets and I'm going to land on this particular one that I chose for this mix.
let's move on with the bass guitar. I added this plugin here. I put it uh, 100%. I am using it on this uh, preset, smooth and compressed, because I want all of the notes of the bass guitar to be heard. One way to do it is using a ton of compression on bass. I used the output to level match. Let's listen to some audio examples of the presets that are included. For these acoustic guitars that you are gonna listen here, I wanted a uh, little bit of a different sound than the one that it has. I wanted a little bit of a uh, chorus, a little bit of roomy sound to also give another character to the guitars so that they can be heard better with the electric guitars that are taking up a lot of space in the mix as usual very simple just one knob it's a very cool thing about this plugin is to mix very quickly the presets are very very well done for every application that you might think of let's uh, listen to the effect that i chose and also between the different ones Let's move on with the electric guitars, overdriven guitar sound. I am using 100% of the effect here. I felt that I don't needed to decrease the output on this. For this uh, guitars, I wanted more presence, add a little bit of brightness to the guitars because they are a little bit dark. They don't have some of the frequencies that I need for them to cut through the mix. I was looking for a preset that was adding some presence, right? And I found this. EQ section more presence that's the one I used you have here creative effects reverbs delay effects and EQ the names are pretty straightforward you can add air boost the bass cut the bass things like that so let me show you what I used and also go through the presets included
Here on this synthesizer that I have here, I used also the FX Electric to add a little bit of character with this uh, 70s guitar preset. I am using 66%, giving this effect of synthesizer another texture. It can cut through the mix better, I think. It's sort of a, like an ambience and it's cutting a little bit better in the mix with this preset. Because you have electric guitars, vocals, things like that, it needs to cut through the mix with this texture that this preset provides. I was able to achieve that. Let's take a listen to this effect. Finally, the vocals, the FX voice plugin, and I put it 100%. For this particular vocals, they are very, very well recorded. I just wanted a little bit more of presence, and also I wanted a little bit of space, a little bit of delay, and a little bit of compression for all of the phrases and all of the words to be heard on this mix, right? Because some words were a little quieter in the mix. I wanted all of the vocals to be more consistent throughout the song. I uh, found this uh, vocals glue, which adds compression to the vocals. Also, it adds a little bit of ambience, a little bit of delay or reverb. I went ahead and used another instance of the plugin to add a little bit of stereo delay, short time. That's what gave the vocals the final polish that I needed. You are welcome to use different instances of one plugin or several plugins in the signal chain. There are no limits with just one knob you are gonna be very very quickly to mix any song let's uh, listen to this effect that i chose and also let's go through some of the presets included in this plugin why are you going down why are you going down sugar why are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Why are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Why are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Why are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Why are you going down? Why are you going down? Why are you going down, sugar? Why are you going down? 
Why you going down, sugar? Why you going down? Why you going down? Now let's take a listen to all of these plugins on this mix before and after. I'm gonna go back and forth to be able to listen what all of these plugins are doing to this mix. I am not adding any more processing to this mix. I am not using any processing on the master. As you see here, only lander effects. All of them are turned off now. Let's turn them on. Please let me know down below in the comments, my friends, what are your thoughts on these five plugins by Lander. I think it's a very practical, very quickly and easy way to mix quickly with high quality. Please leave me down below your comment. I will be very happy to read them. Before we go, I would like to invite you one last time to my website, amnerhunter.com, where you can get some additional freebies some free PDF guides and eBooks for music producers and guitar players. Also some free tools such as a huge collection of guitar impulses, a drum sample pack for rock and metal, among other utilities. And finally, don't forget to check out my blog and this channel, which I'm updating weekly with tons of free content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thanks for your time. I appreciate it very much. I will see you very soon on the next one. All right, take care.